At this place in history, we're in Virgens, home to Vermont's first known black sheriff and police chief. And here with me now is Steve Perkins. Steve, tell our viewers what we'll be doing today. Absolutely. So a few months ago, the state of Vermont with a group of local citizens erected the monument behind us or the marker behind us to Stephen Bates, who was, as far as we know, the first uh, black Vermont sheriff and uh, police chief right here in Virgins. And, and we're not talking like, you know, 50 years ago, we're talking well over 100 years ago, 1879. So there's a new exhibit opening at the Bixby Library looking at his life and we're going to go talk with uh, some of the organizers of that exhibit and learn more about Stephen Bates's life. Now, Bo, I want to start off with how this whole exhibit, which is inside this library, got started. Well, it got started uh, actually a couple years ago. I had a visit from Larry Schuyler from Worcester, Massachusetts. He was coming to uh, Virgins to St. Paul's Episcopal Church, where I'm a member, and he wanted to know if he could, if we had any information about his great grandfather, Stephen Bates. I just did a quick search online for some um, records, and I found his obituary, which explained you know that he lived here in the late 19th century had been sheriff for many years and I noticed that he was an African-American and I thought that was an unusual story what I understand is that he was born into slavery but then escaped and moved to Vermont yeah he was uh, born enslaved uh, on the Shirley plantation in Virginia which is south of Richmond on the James River and he and his entire family were there so in 1862 uh, McClellan, who was a general union officer, ended up being at a place called Harrison's Landing, which was quite near the Shirley Plantation, with a number of you know, troops. And at this time, Stephen escaped and joined those union officers. He got to Virgins through uh, Frederick Enoch Woodbridge, who was a congressman. And we learned through newspaper accounts that he was Woodbridge's coachman. So when Woodbridge finished his time serving at the United States Congress, he came back to Virgins where his home was, and Stephen came with him. So, Bo, we're now at the second panel that touches on Bates's professional life. His time as sheriff was uh, a part-time position. It wasn't something that they, you know, he had additional um, duties, but as sheriff, he he arrested people, he, you know, there were stories about him arresting some male robbers, that was a big story back then. There were some stories about him being involved in investigating grand lar larceny. He was chair for 25 years, so all but six years between 1879 and 1907. I think we have to remember that in, in, in Vermont, sheriff is an elected position. Right. Um, so it, it's not like a, a job application chosen by a couple of people. Right. It actually is an elected position. Exactly. I think that's pretty significant. Very significant. If I remember correctly, Virgin's what, population was around 1,500, and the number of African Americans then was 13, including Stephen Bates. How was he so accepted at the time? How did he do this? He, he just must have been, you know, through his personality and his, um, his skills with people. He was a member of all kinds of community organizations. He was a member of St. Paul's Episcopal Church. He sang in the choir. Um, so he had a lot of friends here, and I don't think he was uh, looked at as, you know, it, it, which apparently just wasn't... A, a thing that Virgins, people in Virgins were, ups, you know, would be upset about. They just, you know, really liked him a lot and wanted him as their sheriff. At this place in history. 